I'm just posing now. Hello, puny munchkins. Welcome back to another video. I have returned from the dead and I'm a student. So, this video will feature very gut-friendly foods. I, as a witch, am on a very strict diet of no dairy, no anything really. And so, this isn't going to be very much of a budget because those kinds of foods are somehow expensive even though we didn't ask for intolerance. I, for example, have an intolerance to water. I melt. Have you seen the movie? So... That's it, really. Enjoy the video! <laughs> Disclaimer, this was filmed way in advance to Halloween. Sorry to reveal the man behind the curtain, but curse it, Oz. Since I still had gastritis at the time, I was still experimenting with things I could eat and things I couldn't eat. So apologies if you had to find alternative ingredients. Now, you will boil the potato separate from the butternut squash and pumpkin. How's a little fire, Scarecrow? For the pumpkin pies, we have some flour. My favorite flour is poppies. Poppies will make them sleep. Next, we add about half of this delicious vegan block. Next, you crumble the mixture until it looks like well, crumbs. Then we gradually add and mix plant milk until it becomes a moldable dough. I'm choosing savory. As the butternut squash is for cupcakes, I would add the sugar at this point so you can tell if it's enough. Gluten-free flour is difficult to knead, so you might need to do it in your hands. Okay, so my phone died. This is where we are now. Butternut squash in there. I'm gonna make a cupcake out of them. Mashed potato, which I flavored with mayo and milk. This is the pumpkin, which I flavored with apple cider vinegar and some of these. The remainder of the pumpkin mix can be used for no tomato salsa. But that has to go with something, so I did bat-shaped crisps. Using gluten-free torti tortilla tortilla tortilla. Not bad for a witch, eh? These are meant to look like this because I thought you did it with white chocolate. It's melted marshmallow. As you can tell, I just gave up with that one. <laughs> Again, this was meant to look like ghost mash and it ended up looking like monster mash. Huh. How fitting. So, happy 
Happy Halloween! And what a good one this would have been too. Cursed COVID-19! I'll get you, my pretty, and... Oh, wait, I, I don't want to get you. Anyways, I still have the festive spirit. This is my party cardigan, but I do still have a costume. So, my Halloween costume is my goodly rotten sister, Glinda, the Witch of the North. I don't have a wand. Anyways, adios, munchkins.